All right, so pause the video, read the question, and try to work out the solution. All right, this question seemed like it's going to be a long one, but I'll try to make it as short as possible. So we have a compound shape made up of a rectangle and two identical semicircles. Now, once we have two identical semicircles combined together, it's really one circle. So once we find the area of the circle and the area of the rectangle, we have the area of the compound shape. Now, this is going to be the center of the circle, all right? Because if we go around, we have the complete circle, right? So that's going to be the center. So going from the center, so going from the center, um, to this direction here, we have a radius length. And going from center downwards, this direction downwards, we also have another radius length. And going this way as well, it's another radius length. Remember the radius, all the radii in a circle are equal, right? Now, if I extend this this direction as well, all right, um, this is also a radius length here. But mind you, going from this point, let's call that A, to this point, let's call that B. If we draw a straight line all the way through, that line, that length will be 27 centimeters. Agree? So if we want to find out the radius length, we can subtract 15 from 27, right? And if you do that, you will see that you get a length of 12 centimeters, right? So that means this portion here will be six centimeters, the 12 divided by two. And this would also be six centimeters. Should be a straight line, by the way, of, right? So six plus 15, look at the length from A to B. Six plus 15 plus six will give us the 27 that we need. Okay, fair enough. Now, of course, if R is six, then this is six, and this is six, which means that the width of the rectangle, while the length is 27, the width of the rectangle is a combination of the two radius, right? The diameter there of six plus six, which is gonna be 12. So that's is 12 by 15, that's the dimension. To find out the area, we multiply those. And 12 times 15 is 180. All right, and so 180 centimeters squared. And the area of the circle, the area of a circle is given as pi r squared. So it's gonna be pi times r squared. r is six, that's the radius. When squared, goes 36. So that's 36 pi. So our combined area is 36 pi plus 180. All right, and both measurements are in centimeters squared, but we don't have to put those on. Now we want to factorize, all right? Now, it might be kind of challenging for you to figure out how you're gonna factorize this, right? Okay, one way we could do this, we can see that um, we can write this as, now 36 can go into 180, but you might not be able to see that, but you might be able to see that 18 times two is 36, all right? So I can, f I can write this as um, 18 times two. Let's use multiplication there. 18 times two pi. All right, because 18 times two is 36. I agree? And I can write this as 18 times 10. Are you, guys, are you seeing that? 18 times 10 is 180, and 18 times two is 36. So I can factor out the, um, I can factor out the, the, um, the 18. Let's do that for now. There's another method I'm seeing there, but let's leave that for now. So factor the 18, that leaves me with two pi plus um, 10, All right? We factor out the 18, we're left with two pi, two pi. Um, no, we can factor out two, because two can go into two and two can go into 10, right? Taking out another factor, that means the factors outside will now multiply. Taking out the factor of two. Now two goes into two pi. Remember, we're taking out two. If we take out two from two pi, it leaves us with pi. All right, and take out the two from the 10. That's, I'm not saying subtracting. I'm really dividing two pi by the factor we're taking out. So two pi divided by two is pi, and 10 divided by two is five. All right, so we can combine what the factors outside as 36 and pi plus five. All right, explanation makes this a little longer, but if you're doing it by yourself, I mean, probably will be much faster, right? And so the answer is going to be B. Are you seeing that? 
Now the pi plus five, they just simply put the five first. The order in which you add doesn't matter. So they shift around the five and the pi, well, I mean, they could have put the pi first if they wanted to. So, so the answer is either that or it could look like this, but they're basically the same things.